Hello everyone. Welcome to Shikuya Let's Subskill. In this session we are going to exclusively talk about Wipro return test. All right? And that is essay writing. So in this session we are going to discuss the techniques to write an essay. All right? So soon we'll begin with the techniques, do's and don'ts and tips how you can ace the uh, Wipro return test. Well, if you have not subscribed our channel, if you are the new viewer, please do it quickly. Subscribe the channel quickly and you are going to get many different techniques to uh, know, like literally uh, write this essay as per Wipro demands. Alright, so just get me some quick response so that I can move ahead Yes, am I audible enough? Is the screen visible enough to you all? Your reply is going to help me to move ahead. So do help me quickly. Yes. So we'll just check with the response and then we'll proceed to our session. Okay. Okay, thank you Ajay. Ajay says it's audible. Yes. People who are watching us do respond with your reply so that we can go accordingly. Well, let us begin with the basics first. All right, why essay writing? Why this essay writing is required? Why Wipro is so much interested in conducting your essay writing test? Why are they, they are like so much inclined towards many companies, right? As Wipro conducts essay test, there are many different companies. And what do they really expect is we are going to check in this session. So first, why this essay writing? The very first reason is the most demanded skill. Okay, nowadays people are, you know, like these companies are in, uh, they are demanding that the employer should be, or sorry, employee should be really good at writing skills as they expect you to speak English really well, they similarly expect that your writing skills should be at par. Alright, so that is why they have included one of uh, this kind of test in your recruitment evaluation process all right so the one who is really good at writing skills the one who is really good in typing because anyways you're not going to write using pen and paper it is all online so definitely you will be typing right now why used widely on the job it's not only limited that you're going to you know just uh, going to practice writing just for uh, you know, clearing your test or as such, but it will be you no know, like further. It will be really useful when you are you will be working for some company, all right? There will be many occasions you will be sharing your emails with your boss, with your subordinates, with your clients, and what for what not reasons, all right? So this will be the permanent thing. You will be sharing emails in on many different occasions. Right, for many different purposes. So that is where you will be really, uh, uh, no need in very much needed in uh, about your writing skills. Right, reports every now and then you will be submitting your work. You will be reporting to your boss, your leader, or some or the other way you will submitting your piece of work. All right. So there you will be needed very much this writing skills. 
So essay writing is definitely going to enhance your writing skills, which will be reflecting in your emails, reports, and any which ways you're going to do your uh, written communication. All right. So that is why this has been uh, included in your, as in your one of the uh, test uh, question or test part. All right. So I hope you are clear with why this companies are including this kind of test in your recruitment process. So this is the one of the most important reasons. Now, Wipro specific, let us talk now what this specifications are. The very first thing is number of essay you are supposed to type. I'm saying type purposely because there you're not going to write it as in using your pen or pencil or as such something. You're really going to type it. All right, so you have to be very first tip of today's session is you have to be really having good hands on keyboards. All right, it is all about typing the people who don't have any practice or who are not at all uh, no handy with or you no know, user friendly to keyboards. You have to start your practice right now. All right, so it is all about typing just you no know, like to, uh, fix this in your mind this is very much important you are supposed to type one essay expected word count is two, uh, 200 to 300 words all right this is what uh, no uh, approximately we uh, we expect that when it the, the duration given to uh, type or duration given for this particular test is 20 minutes so we are just assuming that 200 to 300 words around 300 words are expected they will give you some definite range or they may ask you to type nearby 300 words so in any which ways they may uh, put uh, your question like all right so you have to be prepared with the speed 20 minutes 300 words typed checked and submitted yes i'm going to come soon on this parameters as well language used should be very much proficient English okay you should be really well versed with as you know as this people expect that you should be really good at speaking I'm not talking about fluency fluency is very different thing you should be comfortable in speaking English with using very appropriate words wherever on whatever topic they or uh, you talk about all right similarly in writing we need to be more professional right so when it comes to speaking here and there few mistakes uh, uh, with your grammar or here and there uh, usage of words here and there like slight 10 to 20 percent mistakes are like quite acceptable because their immediate communication is expected but in writing they have specifically mentioned the level that is somewhat high range of uh, English they are expecting. So proficient English is very much preferred. So you have to be really good at your English, writing English, return English, vocabulary, English vocabularies, right? So proficient English is expected. So you have to be really good at it. If not, start practicing right now. Then, challenges in writing an essay so what are the challenges you are going to face or you no know, you might be thinking see essay writing we are doing since our school days right uh, b before the whenever we were introduced in school regarding this essay it was composition when we were really you know uh, this third fourth standard students right we were introduced to compositions so there we used to write hardly 10 or 12 sentences I say my father my mother it was like a, just a tiny piece of information we used to write under composition and then slowly as we uh, know like were proceeded or we, we must say promoted to different class higher classes it has started taking the face of essay right so we are doing this since our childhood we are practicing essay since our childhood right but still 
it has to be proved this companies are proving that this is the you no know, more uh, efficient method to check your uh, english right so that is why maybe they might be using it as a, their return test or one of the evaluation uh, process right so what will be the challenges you might have not return essay as in a profession uh, maybe ever back in your school days but now you have to treat it as in professional essay all right like literally your evaluation is been uh, dependent on this if you like really ace it you will get selected or you will be selected for the next round all right so you have to be taking this very much seriously okay i can see some 11 viewers here if uh, i'm audible or if you have any queries regarding this you can just put it in the chat box so that i can address those all right and if you have not subscribed yet you can quickly go and subscribe our channel you will get many useful tips like we are going to have in this session so a quick response from the viewers will help me to go ahead yes ajay thanks for helping me he says i'm audible aishwarya audible ma'am thank you aishwarya any doubt still here any doubt still here in whatever we have talked about till now can we just go to the back a previous slide here i hope you are aware about this return test specifics that number of essay you are going to type is one just one essay you have to type on the given topic duration is okay divya says thumbs up okay omkar thank you all right so i think i can that's the signal to move ahead all right so the number of words they are expecting is near about 300 they might give you the range or they might just give you a rough information that we are expecting some 300 words in 20 minutes all right and the language used is very specifically the mention is they are expecting high level english that is what we can understand it should be proficient english okay ma'am what are the topics any idea ma'am kishor yes definitely will talk about it you can quickly enroll yourself to get all the specific details just subscribe my channel stay with me here okay shall we proceed to the next slide okay just a minute all right so we were talking about challenges if you have any specific challenge you can just put it in the chat box maybe we'll i'll get a chance to address that challenges as well okay the very first thing is topic at kishore as kishore has rightly raised his doubt in the chat box here he asked that ma'am what are the topics any idea yes definitely uh, see kishore there is no any specific kind of topics they may ask you it is like an open world you may expect any kind of topic it could be a factual topic it could be any current issue it could be you know um, the topic which which is like you no know, just an idiom given to you you have to consider that idiom with the specific event and you can write your essay so there is no any hard and fast category they have mentioned it is an open world open uh, platform that they can put any topic to you all right that is the trick that is what we are supposed to talk uh, talk about in the session all right that what what is that skill they want to check they can put any random topic to you but you have to be aware about it all right so they want to know how no like how uh, updated you are with this current issues or whatever topic they are asking simultaneously they are interested in checking your language all right that is their pure intention 
uh, is they will ask technical topics they may we never know they may ask you any topic around the world it could be specifically about your technical field it could be an any uh, you know general uh, topic it could be idiom it could be about olympics all right it could be anything so factual topics could be there fiction non fictional type of topics could be there it could be just an idiom given to you okay like uh, for example we can say pigs can fly all right feeling blue so these kind of topics also you may expect the only thing is how well you can play with this topics all right how well you can play with your english vocabularies how well you can fulfill their expectations that is what they want to know is they will ask any technical topics okay ma'am please explain aptitude verbal reasoning for which topics okay here we will uh, you know just limit ourselves to this essay writing you can enroll the course and you will be uh, you know getting helping hand towards all this topic uh, manikanta yes definitely you can enroll this course you will get a help on all these topics which you are asking for all right so the very first challenge is your topic you never know no only thing is you can practice typing only thing is your practice going to practice like you no know, instant thinking about any random topic you will find under this uh, written test all right so topic is we have no control over it time duration is the another challenge 20 minutes 300 words are expected so you have to be really pulling up your socks since today right now you have to start practicing it if you have uh, no good hands on keyboard okay so practice that very well then word count right 20 minutes 300 words if you are not good with keyboards then that may be little risky in terms of your this return test all right so you have to be really handy with your keyboards you should be really good at your typing speed then only you can achieve this count no matter the topic is very easy if you are lucky enough or fortunate enough you may find the topic is simple but although the topic is simple maybe you are not uh, capable of typing that count of or number of words there okay so that would be really uh, challenging at times is essay writing tough and wipro okay see tough level they are expecting is high that is what roughly we can uh, no i can uh, assure you about so high in the sense what topic see there is no control over topic that is what i am trying to say so level may be high you can expect high in terms of using your language all right sometimes it happens that uh, topic is easy but word count expected is high so that way you never know what kind of uh, combination they would come up with so yes higher side you have to practice that is the safe way of practicing you have to always practice little higher side so that you can manage if uh, the topic is in your favor all right can you give any example how to write essay yes of course we are going to uh, just see the example for this stay with me i have received a link from wipro okay when exam date present i did not receive any mails please explain okay that mails and all will be like no that is altogether different department here we are definitely going to talk about essay writing so let us keep ourselves restricted to that any queries regarding that you can put it into a chat box all right so the word count is another challenge next is grammar when it comes to english and that to return english okay writing english we cannot forget or we cannot ignore grammar now what includes in grammar a huge 
know, a, a huge area if we had to talk about grammar, lot of things, everything what you have studied since your childhood under English or about English language, everything goes in when it comes to essay. That is literally a reflection how well you are, um, no, well versed with language English. Okay, in very simple terms if I had to explain you. So, grammar includes everything like your parts of speech, your tenses, the very, you know, important and the core grammar part is your tense. If you go wrong with the tense, definitely your uh, miscommunication will happen and there you will go with uh, wrong with your uh, sentence and everything goes wrong if you go wrong with tense, all right. So, grammar includes parts of speech, your tenses, punctuations and everything what you have learned till now about writing English or using language English while you write. Alright, so that is what we expect about grammar. Next thing comes structure. Now very short time, right, they have given you the duration that is very much clear to us. Okay, only you are going to get 20 minutes word count may differ, we are expecting that when it is 20 minutes, most probably they may ask you to type some 300 words, alright. So that would be the rough range we expect, okay, give some tips to intro part in essay, okay. So structure, so why structure your loan could be the challenging one, see as soon as you read the question you have to t start typing or you have to start think thinking about the given uh, topic right that's the buffer time you're going to get as soon as you read your question on the screen your timer starts clicking here right that tick 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 is started once you finish your typing submitting and all that is how it it is going to work all right so, structure is important. Is it like that ki, you know, any sentence or any random thought comes in your mind and you are typing, will they accept such essay? That's the question. So, think about it. Content. Now, it is not possible that every time the essay question would be in your favor. What if it is something else which you have never heard or read? or read somewhere but not very much informative about that particular given topic, what in this case? Stay tuned with us, I am going to definitely help you on that particular area as well, okay. Yes, I have read all the comments coming at my end, will stay with me, definitely you will get your answers, alright. So, these are the areas where you may find some challenges. Topic which is not in our control, any topic around the world, from any corner of the world, they may pick up and put it as in your uh, return test. Time duration, we are blessed, we are fortunate enough that we know the time duration, that is some 20 minutes. Then word count, you will get to see when you will get to see your topic. Okay, so we are just assuming it would be some 20 minutes diya hai, so maybe some 300 words they may expect. Grammar definitely you have to be good at, see when it is language, nobody can spare you on grammar, alright. So it has to go hand in hand. English, you cannot forget grammar when it is about writing, when it is about speaking, here and there few mistakes, okay, but writing you have to be proficient enough. Structure, we'll see ahead, it has to be in proper well structured grammar, it cannot be like just a random thought and you are putting into a words, alright. So that has to be maintained, content, if content is not there, what you will do with your, how you are going to manage your 300 words, how you are going to manage with the structure, if there is no content, no use of any of these challenges which we can see before content, right? So all of these has to be well practiced. Mark my word, practice is very much required. It is not a one day uh, like you will attend this session and everything will be solved. You need 
rigorous practice and that is why we are here you can enroll this course you will get all detailed techniques here we are going to share a lot of different types of tips tricks and there are few secrets we are going to share in this course so if you really want to ace, ace this test uh, this uh, wipro test get yourself enrolled quickly okay now let us move to the further part how many paragraphs will cover 300 words ma'am that is why we are here dear you can enroll quickly yourself and get you know uh, this all your questions uncovered get all your questions answered all right so let us go to the next point here is evaluation how are they going to evaluate you we have just talked about challenges now what all things they really uh, check when you submit your essay what are their expectations evaluation is done using this particular type of ai system okay we are expecting and somewhat roughly we know that intellimetric is the type of software they are going to check no person no manual check is been done checking is been done right there are thousand and lakhs of students appear this test who will read so many essays and who will evaluate or who will make corrections all right so they have made this work easy as soon as you submit your essay their software based checking begins just within few minutes you will get your results i'm not sure immediately uh, like as soon as you submit and you will receive as a but it takes very short span to get your results ready all right so no person is going to check or read your essay everything is done using this ai system all right it's a software which is most of the different examination they used to evaluate the result of different tests right so that is how you can expect that when somebody is not going to read your and computer ai system is going to check your essay how precise you have to be all right they say that at least like no manual checking like somewhere hold some emotions there are certain types of mood people carry so it may sometimes reflect on the result so that things these things are no more you uh, know you can uh, think about it is completely software based checking so you can you know assure that uh, that like simple mistake here and there is not going to be uh, kept uh, unread all right so that now as soon as you submit the software is going to check your essay so there are specific instructions given to these softwares so that is what they are going to check in your essay now what all things they are going to check we are going to see further we have seen the challenges that you should not forget all right let us take an example of essay here okay now let us consider this is essay all right like i have just got this essay from some of my student all right so let us have a quick read have a quick read i'll just give you few seconds or few minutes we can take just read it okay how can an it employee help the uneducated public question mark so you have to answer okay so you have to answer this question it is like an your essay question you have to reply this answer in some 300 words as you can see in that upper corner i have mentioned the word count the this size of essay is somewhat 310 words all right so check about it okay now if you see that there is some paragraphing shown in the entire there is some bullets used in terms of numbering 1 2 3 so somewhat we can if i had to divide this essay can be divided into three parts okay india is world's second largest country in terms of population with over 125 billion that is what the first sentence begins 
Come on, get, read it quickly. If you give, give a read, you will be able to understand what I'm trying to say. Come on, give a quick read. Okay, is it visible now? Is the screen visible now? For me, it is quite visible. Just assure, give me your assurance. Manikanta, is it visible to you? Okay, Maleshwari, uh, you will definitely get tips. That is what I'm saying. Don't miss to enroll this course. You are really going to get all the details regarding your intro, regarding your body, how to conclude. Everything will be shared in detail. So, like, don't uh, hesitate about it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Yes, I got to know that it is visible enough. Very good. Now, come on, have a quick look. India is the world's largest, sec uh, second largest country okay now here look at this it says second largest okay now here when we say second largest this is kind of compound word now suppose I am an AI just suppose okay if this is a system check here somebody has submitted essay what will I check first of all I would be very much upset about this space the intent you leave to show your paragraphing. The very first thing you have to not do this mistake. As soon as you get your screen to type, that is what I say. It is typing. Okay? It is not writing. Not writing as in with pen and paper or with a pen and pencil. Alright? So, from very first here, left corner, you have to start your just a minute you have to start your typing right from this corner do you get it right from this corner so i'm a little bit upset with this space do not leave intent mark this in your book do not leave intent okay the second mistake i found is second largest the way of using this word is you need to use dash here you have to use this as a compound word, okay? So, dash is used here under this, uh, while using the second largest. So, this may be an punctuation error here, all right? As per estimate, estimates, okay? Now, as per is the good word here, okay? As they said, you have to be really good at Okay, so that is what we have seen in the first passage, right? So, what, what was my first tip? That you should not live in 10. Very left corner, you have to start typing. Alright, now, once you finish this first paragraph, now we have finished with introduction, right? Now, look at the next paragraph, what it talks about. So, information technological logic professionals are usually skilled and tech friendly. Okay. Am I audible? Is video visible to you? Just your quick response will help me. Type 1. Type 1 is both working well with you. Audibility and visibility of video. Type 1, Umkar. Manikanta. Maleshwari. Four is seven M Renuka. Am I audible, visible? Okay. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you. Okay. So we were talking about this second paragraph. Can you see this on your screen? Again, the same mistake. Why this is not required? Because now it is typed. Okay. You may expect that during your this test, 
may be some tab button tab button backspace are restricted keys all right so simply it may over count your word or if you do backspace it may multiple or it could no it can multiple the number of words so you may fall into category that you don't understand the instructions all right so we are not supposed to take any of such risk got it simply don't leave the space don't leave intent just one enter once you finish the paragraph enter from the very left corner start typing all right so this is what it is and the very upsetting thing in this essay i have found this numbering okay this numbering thing not at all required this is an essay they expect the paragraphing pattern all right this numbering kind of thing it is good to use that but not here maybe in your answer paper in your examination while you are answering the concepts all right but here you are supposed a big no to use such kind of bullets all right so don't give use any kind of bullets here simply you can put your points as in paragraphs all right so that is what expected here so now you can just quickly do the corrections under this you have to consider this corrections what i have been doing here then about uh, now it has been listed here these professionals can help the uneducated public in many ways look at this they have used colon all right the colon is variety in your punctuation what do you do you use very limited punctuation full stop and up, like if had to be going one step ahead then full stop you will use commas all right apart from this two uh, punctuation we people don't use it oftenly right so you have to you know like literally overcome this uh, bars and you have to explore new punctuations all right and use it in your essay all right so they will look at the variety how well you can understand and write english how well you can use these things in writing english right so these things have to be maintained so now if you see this just somewhere here we have come to this paragraph uh, look at this point 2 here many of them utilize these technology by making online small scale business like cooking handicraft hotel businesses etc etc dot and here look at this mistake they the word they the first alphabet of they is t and which is small this is also been identified by this software its language capitalization small case upper case it has to be followed throughout your essay all right so here the big mistake is this capitalization they can also teach they can also teach also teach better you could have used more over or something like these kind of word more over they can teach the application this is interesting words right you have to be really good at using your dictions you have to not use literally very heavy words when it comes to proficient english the word should be very well used in communication it should not be like in dictionary words all right so your dictions should be very well you uh, know very you know uh, what i can say comfortably and excellently used in this kind of essay nobody is expecting that you should use that big big words which we see or which we usually find in dictionary so that is not expected relative vocabulary to the given topic all right so instead of they can also teach the application you could have say uh, moreover they can teach the application of social network to educate public and help them to establish their own business and entrepreneurship and like last paragraph you can see this is an conclusion so definitely they expect conclusion conclusion hold good marks all right now do they really have any deduction uh, using this can we go to the next slide please do they have any deduction pattern when it comes to evaluation parameter 
guess what the software look at that is what i'm going to share here all right just stay with me we'll go to the next slide have you seen what kind of mistakes are done see like there are some uh, you know, like you are nervous it is test you have to reach 300 words within 20 minutes so there is a lot of pressure when you are going to do or when you are going to attempt this test hence the solution here i would say is lot of practice will make you pro in this all right so if if you don't practice using this you no know, like this timer at your uh, like in your front of you and you are not typing within the given span of time it will be really hard to crack this round all right so practice is really important evaluation parameters are like keywords now what are keywords we have seen, just seen the paragraph right it was about it so it was about technology when it is about technology and you people are belongs to technical field they are very much expecting you to use technical words technical words in terms of suitable to the topic it is it it is unemployment right so they are expecting few words regarding that and when it is unemployment countries india they are expecting such kind of words from you like you could have spoken about uh, uh, yojanas different yojanas uh, like what have been introduced by government and all so these could be you know uh, reflected as in your keywords so suppose we are talking about social media the topic is about social media they immediately expect the words like instagram twitter right cyber crime understood or suppose it is about digital india the india moving to this digitalization or digital india talk about share your views about digital india right so whenever whatever type of topic is given the software is are given the instruction that please find the keywords all right so you have to be very well well versed with keywords try to use those words in your essay all right so this is the first tip from where you can bring the content think about the keywords when it is about reservation system in uh, or reservation in education system right you can think about when this uh, reservation has been introduced right what all things are happening what all uh, issues have happened because of this reservation then comes education then comes different fields of education then comes you no know, inequality then women and these are the issues the software will search for these are the words what the software will search for so that means keyword okay so you have to be well aware about the keywords used for that particular topic all right then comes spelling of course it is language you cannot ignore spelling mistakes so that is why i said do not go and use very fancy vocabularies not at all required or vocabularies which you you somewhere once in a blue moon you might have read in your dictionary so that is not expected here don't take that risk if you go wrong with the spelling simply you will get counted under error okay so keep it simple if you don't know certain words don't take a risk of using them keep it simple keep it relevant relevant is the formula all right next is repetition of words they really want to know how well you can use your dictions suppose you are using the word important and you are using repeatedly uh, repetitively you are using important 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 maybe some 10 to 20 times you might have used in your passage so here you have reduced your word count quality of your word quality of your keywords right instead of important you can explore new vocabularies important essential crucial now these are synonyms so try to explore and use these kind of vocabulary so repetition of the words the software will search for suppose you i have typed some 290 words or 295 words and under this 295 words in this 295 words 10 words are important okay you have 10 times repetitively used the word important so there are high chances you may reduce your marks all right so try to use as 
good vocabulary as you can all right so that is what repetition of word means then comes punctuation as i showed you in the example right so punctuations use variety of punctuation why to use punctuations because punctuation makes your language interesting to be read all right while speaking as we need pauses high low tone right that kind of you uh, know things are essential in your writing and that is reflected when you use punctuations all right so start explore yourself to this the variety of punctuation when this inverted commas are used when dashes are used when hyphens are used right so when different type what are the types of dashes where i can put colon where i can put semicolon all right so explore these things and use it when you're writing got it spacing now how we can use the spacing so that is just a normal etiquette of writing when you are typing something once you finish the word you have to click the space right after the full stop once you end the sentence you have to use punctuation that is uh, punctuation mark full stop give a space start new sentence that is what spacing equal spacing is required do not use intent no we usually show that paragraphing by just uh, clicking the tab button that is not required before things used to be written hand with hand manually written all right so we had some specific way of writing specific rules of writing but now here it is not required we don't know if we if you click this tab button maybe your word count is multiplied okay or it has been counted so maybe suppose four five times you might have used tab in your entire essay you have counted your plus five words all right so do not take that risk next is tenses if you go wrong with tense entire sentence is wrong all right tenses is like there is mistake with the tenses communication failed word count definitely you have to read certain word count whatever they are expecting for and when it comes practicing this is how after correction your essay looks like this is how you have to write the highlighted words are keywords transitive words you have to write now what the software search for how many transitive or we can say sign post words you have used like although however as a result or you can say in conclusion therefore uh, finally no these are the words used with commas have you seen as a result therefore these all words are no here if you see this i'm so sorry just go to the previous slide okay this is fine all right so if you see this internet related these are compound word has to be used with the small hyphen understood so this is how it is expected your paragraphing should be so there should be introduction okay what makes a good essay when we talk about paragraphing i just uh, forgot to share that there should be introduction then body and conclusion basically they expect this kind of structure what makes good essay now you want to really see it's not only about essay it is about how well you can write your essay how well you can play with your english vocabs all right so now when it comes to good essay there should be proper unity there should be support there should be coherence there should be suitable language used and organized structure now when it comes about, talks about support what is support unity means you have to first let us go one by one unity you have to think about you no know, uh, like how well you can you know gel with all of the ideas you have mentioned uh, in throughout your essay all right so there should not be something suddenly in somewhere in the mid of your essay you are talking about some different topic only all right so there should be a proper unity throughout all your 300 words support example plays best role supportive ideas which supports your given topic all right 
so examples relevant examples current examples related to the topic will gain you good marks there is no any extra marks you are going to get but yes definitely you will be in a qualified side okay there you will definitely when will get mail for exam okay mail for exam is not the platform to talk about right now will definitely help you regarding that but here we are specifically talking about essay writing in case you have any challenges or any issues regarding essay you can quickly ask in the chat box all right so support means examples coherence means it should be well structured structured in sense coherence means suppose introduction you have given introduction and then in somewhere in the body part you are speaking suddenly something else only right so there is no any coherence between your uh, this uh, introduction and suddenly you are talking about some third topic it should not be like that all right so coherence is that way and then sequence coherence is also called as sequence all right that means suppose first thing happened then step step by step you have to talk about you are talking about introduction somewhere in the middle you are talking like a conclusion then again you remember certain point when you were concluding you have added in conclusion altogether new point so your conclusion cannot be a new addition all right so there has to be proper coherence means step by step all right introduction then you have introduced a few characters in your introduction explain those characters one by one in the first paragraph first character second paragraph second character third paragraph third character then overall discussion is concluded in your fourth paragraph so in all you have some five to four paragraph majorly three parts you have to do of your essay that is introduction body body may have two three paragraphs that's completely fine and your conclusion all right this three major parts has to be there when you are writing your essay suitable language that is what i have cleared you it is a proficient language organized structure now you will quickly understand what i mean to say look at this passage i live i live in a house in pune near the new it park just go through this just go through this once you finish reading you can type one in the chat box just go through this passage my new house is the topic once you finish reading you can quickly type one will not waste a minute or not a single minute yeah once you finished once you finished reading you can type one my new house i live in a house in pune near the new it park come on read it okay very nice so i have received one well now read this okay here it shows it is somewhat 106 words okay i'm just giving an example we are not treating it it has an final essay okay this is just an example i want to show you what is coherence what is uh, structuring what is unity okay now read this passage number 2 again my new house very nice omkar lalit keep it up ajay keep it up read this second passage passage number 2 my new house and you are going to share which one is better which essay of new, my new house is better one first one or second one and this is somewhat 103 words come on a quick reply a quick reply
which one is better the previous one or this one which essay very good this one is better right why because it gives a sense of unity here in the previous just go to the previous slide here in the previous essay you might have seen it is somewhat feel like it is going out of topic we are talking about my new house and suddenly there is some accident mentioned and no there like unnecessary information is there that is what quickly your no software is going to catch up with each word you have mentioned in your essay has something to do with all right so if that software doesn't don't find any some relevant type of, see it cannot understand emotion but it can definitely understand what is the gist of the sentence all right so do not go out of topic better you write it in this way there is proper introduction so then the very second sentence says what is the name of the house then infrastructure of the house features of the house and that is how it is concluded that we are very happy to own our house home so okay okay it's home and i hope that we will live there for several years that is what expected from you got it we'll just go to the second example what is the question your question may be like this they will clearly mention it okay it is globalization a big change okay you have to share your views globalization a big change what change have you experienced around you due to globalization explain it in 250 to 300 words now they have mentioned the range now when range is mentioned you are supposed to be there somewhere in middle of this range you cannot exceed it or you cannot you no know, like be beyond or be before 250 it cannot be 240 or it cannot be 310 or 320 that means you don't understand the instruction when the range is given you have to be more at the side of more that is 300 all right it could be 300 it could be somewhat 305 or so but if, if it is 310 you may reduce some marks okay got it very good lalit omkar very nice keep on answering this is an second example we have seen one essay previously before few minutes this is the second example there is somewhat 295 words Typed under this essay. All right. Now you are supposed to answer the question. What is the question? A big change. So you are supposed to speak on changes. Okay. A big change. What change have you experienced around you due to globalization? Now, look at this. When it is about globalization, what is expected? Keywords. Now what happened? You know this topic. very no like very commonly talked about and we people belong to technical field we are definitely talking about it when you are a technical person see never forget to use this technology words in your essay you are technical people definitely this technical words are going to win you the race all right so now this is about globalization come on start reading globalization has see have you seen this at the very left corner we have started with the essay we have not left with the intent so don't use tab button don't click tab all right not required very left corner you can immediately start typing so first two lines seems like an uh, something you no know, overview of globalization that has bought world closer means integration and interaction among people the very two good words this now here integration interaction among people companies and governments worldwide are increased all right now companies governments these are the words when it comes to globalization mnc's 
multinational companies these words are expected when it comes to globalization technology all right so there is a big trick we have when it comes to sa content generation we are definitely going to speak about content generation from where to bring in this ideas that's the secret that's the trick you have to ace and that is what we are going to cover in our upcoming sessions so quickly enroll yourself you will get revealed with all of these secrets you will be able to think in a particular way so that you can achieve this 300 words all right let us come back to the passage now globalization has been beneficial to many aspects of society now here look at this many aspects so these many aspects have been go going to be mentioned in this uh, sentence here virtual connection more affordable and then it will be you no know, like series such as clothing and food all right that is how it has been mentioned so like just take a pause and read your entire passage you will get a clear idea like what to think about when it comes to these kind of uh, topics globalization digitalization slight change in this topic and there is a word globalization again you can repeat the same story all right so you have to be such a in a such a practice that in case some here and there some twist has been brought to the questions you have so much practice that you know about this content all right so that is why i keep on saying that practice is the permanent you no know, uh, like way to improve writing your essay all right okay let us go to the i hope you have read this passage let us go to the next slide if not then please quickly read it so that you will get an idea that how this essays are to be returned in this terms of you might have seen have you observed there is no paragraphing in this area, uh, this passage there is paragraphing missing here yes just one paragraph at the beginning hardly one and half line and then there is if you might be reading if you are reading focusedly you will understand keep focus when you will be reading you will understand there is no any paragraphing given to the next idea one idea is completed it has been continued second idea has been continued in the same paragraph so i'm going to show you how this paragraphing is done let us go to the next slide look at this now what about structure what structure you need to follow is very much like this simple there should be introduction there should be a body part and there should be definitely conclusion see when you are talking about certain topics like what we have seen just now about globalization about how it people can help this unemployed people all right or uneducated people sorry so what when you are giving such a kind of explanation or when you are sharing something you are answering to some arguments or there is some arguments or there are some things you might be discussing in your essay so there has to be some conclusion right so what about about argued or about argument or about discussion what you have done in your body part so now this discussion in your body part could be done in this three different paragraphs like it could be paragraph 1 talking about advantages paragraph 2 talking about uh, advantages of some different supportive ideas paragraph 3 talking about some third benefits or, or advantages of your third specific idea all right so it is likewise your body may include two paragraphs just a paragraph or three paragraph maximum when it is about 300 words all right more than that it would look like a sentence not a paragraph right so when it is limited to it depends how many words you are going to type that is how you are going to customize your paragraphing system all right and then conclusion so somewhat four to five paragraphs is good to go with when it comes to 300 words so this is what basic structure it looks like or it has to be like all right introduction kaisa hona chahiye how your introduction should be how your conclusion should be that is what we are going to talk in our further sessions 
So quickly enroll yourself if you have not enrolled. Do they show us words counting when they are typing? No, that's a trick. You need to know how to have control over your typing. That is what I said. You have to try your hands on. You have to do a practice. Somewhat 300 words have been asked. You have to just take a rough, uh, you know, rough measurement of how many words you type in a particular line and how many lines you have typed. You have to quickly calculate that and some rough count you have to reach. If it is exceeding too much, you are at higher risk. If it is you not know, too much, uh, it is undercounted, then also you are, when it is 250 to 300, it has to be about uh, 250, nearby 300. It cannot go more than 300, like 350, your marks are reduced. 10 words more, you are going to reduce good number of marks. All right. So marking system, yes, definitely they have marking system there. They will, there will be reduction in your marks. When it comes to spelling, you're going to lose your marks. When it comes to punctuation errors, you're going to lose your marks. In all, you cannot afford more than five or three mistakes. Now you have to decide whether you're going to do mistakes in your spellings punctuations in your tenses in your grammars or maybe you're not able to achieve the word count you won't be able to clear this all right so maybe now okay Ahmed, good one keep it up all right so this is what basic structure they expect got it if you want to know from where to bring the content if you want to know for how we can generate the content, all right, what the structure should be like, how you can manage the time. This everything has to be done in 20 minutes. And up of that, before submitting, we are human beings, we are nervous when we are typing, when we are appearing for this test, we are, when we are attempting this test, right? There are some mistakes where we are going to do here and there while typing. Some different keys might got pressed or you know, somewhere you forgot to give a punctuation. Somewhere you have done some typing mistakes with spellings. So that all has to be checked before submitting. So how are you going to manage your time? That's the another trick. All right. So to know and to explore more of the tricks and techniques and to have the practice on this kind of essays or this kind of return test you can quickly enroll we are going to reveal all of these secrets how to ace this return test of essay writing so don't no step back immediately enroll come on this is the final essay when it comes to globalization a big change what change have you experienced so somebody is sharing his experience what change so what are the keywords I have highlighted? This is how the paragraphing should be. Got it? Can you see on your screen? There is globalization. First one and a half line says how this globalization had, has impact on the world. Then they speaks about culture, technology, demographics, right? All these areas have been affected, affected on by, by this globalization so we need to every common human being is going to uh, experience this change that is what has been mentioned here so the software is now searching for is there anything talked about media when it is about globalization is it about global warming are they talking about some changes with the children or lifestyle of the children then there, here comes some super hit indian uh, no daily soaps like or the shows like Ninja Hattori, Doraemon that has also been explained in the passage. So in all this is the complete package what this kind of essay they expect. Above mentioned in nutshell such an interesting word good diction right like every time rather than using in conclusion finally at the end use such good words it is fancy though very easy to understand got it facebook twitter instagram natural disaster global warming technological advancement mnc's digitalization these things these words are very much expected now your software is immediately going to search for these words 
punctuations right punctuations are used commas are used colons are used n dash hyphens are used capitalizations are used got it so these interesting words the impact of global trade now use the words like impact every time like effects affects use some better words there are so so many synonyms available in english vocabularies all right so to know more about such a uh, passages or such uh, different techniques regarding our essay writing quickly enroll yourself all right don't wait don't give a second thought immediately enroll you will get answered all your queries regarding structure regarding your content generation how we can have a interesting start in the introduction what need to uh, how we can elaborate our points how we can achieve this 300 word ka count how we can save our time how to manage that 20 minutes everything is going to be taught everything is going to be answered in your upcoming sessions so quickly enroll and you will be answered all your difficulties or challenges i would say challenges is the good word okay so i think this is what is all essay writing is about as a for this session to know more enroll yourself that's the best thing you will get revealed with so many different aspects of essay writing all right so keep watching keep learning with shikuya let's upskill